hello wonderful people welcome to another video this is a day in the life video and i'm going to show you guys how to how we orthodontic assistants um untie and tie in the color elastic um ties but before we get into the video um i just wanted to let you guys know that at the end of the video there is going to be a giveaway so um i will include all the details and what you need to do to win at the end so stay tuned and enjoy the video and while you're here make sure to give me a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe hello wonderful people welcome back to another video um i am on my iphone right now um my camera's dead and today's probably the only day i'll be able to do a day in the life type video it's Monday. I don't know if I said that. Um, I go in at 2 o'clock, um, but I'm going to be going in early so I can make a video, do my social media stuff and whatnot. Um, 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 um. So yeah, this morning I was an adult today and I got my compliant driver's license um, that was overdue. <laughs> I had to do like two or three months ago but don't tell anyone and I got an oil change because I needed that and I just ate lunch um I had stuffed peppers if anyone cares now I'm about to get ready and go to work yay well, I'm gonna finish getting ready and go to work and of course take you along with me so I will see you guys there bye okay guys I am off to work whoa it's bumpy anyways um someone asked me how i work with piercings and i don't have too many piercings but i have my ears pierced which i sometimes put earrings in they're just not in right now i have my snug pierced um that like weird one over there i also have my tragus pierced that's my snug that one hurt really bad um i have a video on my piercings and tattoos I just went the wrong way damn it that's what I get for trying to multitask but anyways um, I have a video um, on my tattoos and piercings that I can link down below if I remember um, yeah I also have my septum pierced that I obviously just push it up and it's hidden now can the patients see it when they are like looking up at me actually no because I'm wearing a mask but um, but the doctors don't really know about it. Actually, one doctor don't knows because I showed him. <laughs> and that's, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> People ask um, about the nose rings, like on the side. Uh, that one's iffy. Um, you're probably gonna wanna get a clear one. And if they're okay with that, then maybe some offices might let you have it. Just ask um, or try to get away with a clear one. Um, so, all right. I'm on my way to work. I'm gonna focus and my arm is starting to hurt from holding this. My arm gets so tired so quick holding this thing or my camera, you know? But yeah, so um, I will see you guys when I get to work. So, um, I just arrived to work. I'm at the same office that I was in my last video. I go to three locations. They're all within like 15, 20 minutes um, from each other. So I'm gonna grab my glasses. There's this guy sitting over here um, by the bank in his car and he's always out here smoking or eating and he's always out there at like different times of the day. Like I don't know what he does. Like if he's just always on break and he works there, which I don't think he does. I don't know if that's just like his chill spot to like get away from his wife or kids or something. I, I don't know. Anyways, we're about to go on to work so I will see you in a minute. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to take the color ties off and how we put them on. So we have our little friend here with the braces. I'm gonna show you how to take them off. I don't know how I'm gonna set this up to show you, but here we go. <laughs> All right, so um, usually they're open, so I'm just gonna move the top. So let's see if I can show you if I'm not in the way. I don't know if you can see that 
there's four wings to a bracket and it's only on two on the left side. Like the pink and the purple one are on the left side, that blue one's on the right side, that blue one's on the right side. It's supposed to be on all four. Don't mind my nails. All right guys, so I hope I'm in the frame here. I'm not even, let's see. All right, so we have an orange one. We're gonna take it from the side. Sorry, it's hard to do it on a type of knot. And then you're gonna, Ooh. I just broke it. I didn't break it, these are really old ties, so that's why it just broke. I don't remember the last time these were changed. All right, so let's try this one. You're gonna take it from the side, and you're gonna pull down. I don't wanna rip the bracket off, guys. You know, like that. I hope you guys can see this. I'm trying to like watch what I'm doing and do this at the same time. Just like that. And it usually doesn't take this long, but I'm scared <laughs> that I'm gonna pop the brackets off and I don't wanna do that. And that way you can see what I'm doing. So you're gonna go up and down so to the side where you can get a grab or a hold of it and then up never pull out up down so the thing you don't want to do is you never want to pull out you always want to go toward like with the wing if that makes sense so up and down got a nice little rainbow going on so let's keep going. Might have to go the other side sometimes, which I'll do. And voila, they are all off. So now we just have the brackets and the wire. I don't know if I can take this wire out. I don't know if you can tell, but the wire sits in the brackets. See, it moves, and then we put the wire into the brackets, and that's where the um, colored ties come in play. So they just tie around the wire, so the wire stays in place. That tooth just moved, and that was really weird. I don't know how I feel about this thing. <laughs> I've never worked on this. Let's put those teeth back in. But yeah, so now I'm gonna show you guys how we put the ties on. All right, guys, so I picked I picked black and orange for Halloween, so that's what we're gonna do. So what we use is a hemostat. So it's kinda like, it looks like scissors, but it's not. Um, and they lock like that, so you can hold whatever's in there. Um, and you kinda release them by, so they click and then you kinda push it in and out. And it unlocks, but to lock it, obviously just click it. So. I'm gonna take an elastic to clip it. You don't wanna clip it like right there. That doesn't give you enough room to work on the bracket. You wanna go as far down as possible and pull it off. And there you have it, it's locked on there. I wish I had a tripod, this would be so much easier. So we're gonna take the tie right at the edge there, click. Pull. and you kind of want a steady finger here like at the lip or at the bracket kind of you're gonna take it one bracket or I'm sorry one wing and then you flip your hemostat so flip it to the up to the top wing and then you just kind of pull it to the side and twist your hemostat back down so once you get it on that. Guys, the wire's not even in the tooth. Sometimes this happens in real life though too. So you're gonna pull up and over. I'm just being very careful with this type of knot because I'm sure it's expensive and I'm not trying to mess it up. All right, so. And pull it. 
hold the wire in. This goes for like real patience. So sometimes the wire, you'll have to push it in the bracket with your finger and then tie it. So wing, so wing, turn your hemostat over to the side and down. And then release. So there we got a black and orange. Then we're gonna do black again. So same thing. You always wanna hold it kind of like this and rest the hemostat on your fingers instead of just like trying to grab it and not being stable. Make sure your fingers are here to keep your he hemostat stable. Click it, rip off. Make sure the wire is in the bracket. That is the whole point here. <laughs> and I don't know why I'm having these these teeth are just these teeth are just really not fun to work on. So make sure it's in there. I'm gonna just clip the one that I had. So there we go. And we are going to tie side down. Voila. And we are just going to keep going. Stable with your fingers at the end of the tie. Click, pull. Make sure the wire is in the bracket. So bottom wing, twist top wing, side, bottom wing. It's all in the wrist, guys. So you're really just going, so you're going up or down, whichever you like better, but up, side, down. You never want to pull out. That will rip the bracket off. You want to make sure the wire is in the bracket so that we don't rip the bracket off. So it's all, all in the wrist. Pull up, over to the side and down and let go check an expansion on a power expander and they're active so they have brackets appliance delivery we have to um, deliver a retainer retainer check cement bands molar bands appliance load so appliance delivery and molar bands and yeah So you guys have made it to the giveaway part. Yay. 
So a company called Delicate Charms contacted me and they sent me a necklace and they told me they are also going to send one of you guys a necklace. So I'm doing a giveaway. Um, it's gonna be the same exact uh, necklace in here, which I'm about to show you and I love it. This is what it looks like. So this is the box thing. I saw it online, it was really cute. So I'm just gonna open it with you guys. So there's a card that says, thank you. And it kind of tells you how to take care of it and whatnot. Oh, there's a little bag that comes with it, I guess, to carry it around. And this is so cute. I think I might wear it today. But it is a tooth. Look how cute it is. It's kind of really shiny from the light, but it's just a simple little tooth. And I know a lot of you guys that are um, subscribed to me are within the dental field. So if you guys want to win a little cute necklace, I um, want you guys to follow. Oops, where's the box? So you guys need to follow Delicate Charms on Instagram. I believe it's Delicate Charm Delicate Charm Jewelry. Um, I'll link it down below um, or I'll put it right here. Um, also, you have to follow me on Instagram. So you're going to follow Delicate Jewelry and Rachel Jane on Instagram. And like this video. And you guys will get the same exact necklace. And I'm really excited to wear it. So let's try it on. But um, I like how it's kind of long so I can hide it, hide it under my scrub top, even though I don't need to, but, or I can kind of wear it out like that. Perfect length for me, love it. Look how cute that is. I really do love this a lot. So yeah, if you guys want a matching necklace, make sure to follow Delicate Jewelry on Instagram, which I will put around here or and in the description box. Follow me on Instagram and like this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.